Hey, Julie here from RV Tips and Bits, and today we're going to talk about the black water, gray water, and everything around that as to what you can do maybe for some improvements or maybe you have stuck valves and some experience of what happened to us. Uh, first, this is the panel on the Integra Quest 24L. You've got your black, your gray water there. Um, and then, you know, you don't go camping probably every day in most people's lives and every time I know in the past when I've gone out I have to keep thinking about what are the definitions of some of the positions of the valves. So what I did was I printed out in the manual and then laminated and posted to the back over here because it was a little bit surprising to see that you would think the normal position uh, would be when you go camping and full hookups but actually normal is dry camping. Um, so you know, at the list here, you'll see city fixtures and uh, what that is, and then you can define the positions of the valves. Um, just a handy thing. I have a lot of um, printed out things that I post throughout the RV, so I don't have to constantly try to remember um, what the steps are to do something. I guess that comes with age. So recently we had our black and gray, mostly the gray water valve, would not close and um, literally had to take two people to uh, push it in or pull it out. So I started doing research on what can we do to maintain that, fix it, and one of the initial spots was to, uh, you might have seen this on YouTube already, but to drill two holes by the valve and then you inject lithium, white lithium grease. Um, we went ahead and tried that and unfortunately that did not help. We tried the drain liquids, um, that did not help. Um, also within the valve, uh, read recently, um, there are the rubber seals that sometimes are not placed correctly and you can open that up and see if that might be your issue. Um, that would actually be a simple fix. Um, for us, that wasn't the case at this point. Um, after further review, we have a very extended um, lines going to our valves from where our actual levers are. And after I researched this really closely, I found this interesting document that shows, if you can see here on the left, how the line should be organized under the RV so that there's uh, no problems with resistance and how they um, if they're curled in any way or at a certain angle um, that you would have problems and also avoid the warranty. So I started looking at that closely and then I compared to what we had under our RV. We have the Integra Quest 24L so the bathroom's on the opposite side of the valve so it does have an extended um, valve lines going to the um, actual valves um, to the opening of the, um, the drain. So on here you also see at the, uh, at the entrance and the exit, it's supposed to be six inches of straight line and secured. So no loops and secured at the beginning and end. This is what it was before, so um, you can see that there are some extended loops going on under our RV um, with this black line. So the trick is not to have more than um, 180 degree turn um, and obviously twisted. So we went ahead and actually had the warranty cover it and they replaced both valves and the lines and now as you can see this is the after um, the installation. They're much sturdier at the beginning and the end. It's hard to see on the video but you can see the, uh, the line goes fairly straight across. Um, the other one has a little bit of a curve to it um, but it's nothing like it was twisted before. I mean, it was literally more than um, the recommended 24 inches between end to end if it's bent at all. Um, so now they work pretty well. So now they work pretty well. I'll show you a little bit of a view here. Sorry, I angled the camera. Um, but basically, I mean, I couldn't pull these out at all. And now I can pull them out and push them back in. Um, I will also do uh, good maintenance with using, I'll show you uh, a link down below and at the end of this video some products, um, some drain valve lubricant. 
Other additions that I've always used that work really well is to get a clear cap. That way you can tell if something is filled up in your line and not have an accident. Um, and then the other one is this is like a lifesaver. When you're cleaning out your tanks, you put this on before your hose and then you can tell when you're done, when the water's coming through, it's clear and there's nothing left over. Um, that's like a $7 product. It's well worth it. Some other things that we've done to make life a little bit easier um, in this area is this angled um, valve. So that way we keep the hose hooked up to it actually and we're not constantly doing that every time we get to a campsite. I mentioned before I put the um, directions on what each of the definition of the valves means um, to the right. Um, we have this hose that's uh, so much easier than those white hoses that get stiff and kinked and dirty. Um, these work out really well. They're lightweight. Um, also, which most of you probably already have, but is the wa water pressure um, filter at the end there. You don't want to. You want to hook that up to the campsite and not to your RVs because you want to protect your hoses as well. Um, the Valterra hose storage. If you don't have one, we added this to our unit. Um, and you just got to get creative to where you attach it. We attach it to the end here with some screws on the frame. And then you'll see that um, underneath we were able to secure it to uh, the Blackwater line um, with some bendable um, metal um, that you can screw into uh, from Home Depot. Um, I can you can get that anywhere Lowe's or Home Depot but I can put a link for that if you want see I just put the screws on there and tightened it really well um, it's very secure uh, it may not be so pretty on some of the bendable areas but it works really well and then I added a couple other straps along the way um, so really like that I get to store away the hose yeah, so back to the, uh, the drain valve here. So having this clear attachment is a lifesaver. Everybody should have this. Um, the clear cap is also nice to have so you can see what's in there. The other thing we picked up, especially when we had the valve issue, was this portable valve. Um, some people put an extra valve um, at the end and they permanently attach it, which is probably a great way to go. I didn't want to do all the cutting and do that at this time, so I bought the portable one. I attached it to it and then I was able to um, close the valve, add my hose, and that way if there was something in the line, um, you know, it, I could open it up and it would come out at that point. Um, so it can come in handy for different reasons. Um, it was just a, a really, uh, for us, because I already knew that there was a leak that I needed to add it before I started using the RV. So the other one, obviously, I think other people as well, you've seen these out camping, the extendable um, hose support. It's nice to have that, because especially because it adds a angle down to um, where your sewer is so that you always got that um, gravity pull. Um, so just in summary, here's the uh, angled um, valve to come out of your RV, the water uh, pressure guide um, valve that you put at the site. Um, connection. This is important because then you protect your hose as well. Um, we've had a hose in cold weather blow and it's nice to uh, have that protection at the city connection. Yeah, so you have your clear uh, cap, your um, extended clear extender for the uh, hose, um, the gravity uh, hose support, um, the Valterra uh, hose uh, storage uh, that comes and it's a, you can extend it to up to I think it's six feet five six feet and then your uh, portable valve um, for those issues that might happen to you down the road. This is the white lithium grease that you'll see on some YouTubers they recommend that where you drill that hole and then you uh, grease those uh, valve areas. Um, you can also use the uh, drain valve liquid uh, lubricant. Um, this one they actually have a deal on Amazon right now. I'll give you a link to that. Um, and you use that. This this drain is heavier than water so it will go right to the bottom and keep it lubricated. Then of course you have your uh, chemical to put in your toilet to break things down. Um, we use this uh, TST that works really well and it's pretty inexpensive. 
A um, couple other tips. So when you're doing your RV uh, black tank dumping, um, you should always try to dump it at least two-thirds full. Um, do your dump your black tank first. Obviously then the gray water will come and wash out uh, the black that's residue left over. Um, and you never ever ever keep the black valve open when you're at the campground because you want that that gravity to push it through and not just hang out slowly uh, down the drain. And if you re really want to save uh, your black tank, um, you can opt to do what we do, and we actually don't put tissue down there. We use a uh, sanitary napkin receptacle that we have attached to the wall, and um, I'll tell you, it really allows for, I hate to say it, but a lot more volume in your black tank, and it's a lot cleaner. So a lot of times tissues get caught up on the um, the uh, the sensors that measure how much water is in there and so forth. Um, but this has really worked out well. So I'll leave it on that note. Hey, really appreciate you watching. Um, the links all are all below for anything that you saw that you might want. And there should be some discount. I also have other videos on how to do country fill or uh, put water um, in your tank from a bucket. Um, as well as some other more in detail on some of these processes that we went over today. So feel free to subscribe and happy camping!